Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. Welcome back to another PhotoP tutorial. This one's going to be about how you can make a face cam overlay really easily and fast. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first thing you wanna do as always is go up to file, new, make sure your dimensions are 1280 by 720 with a transparent background and name it whatever you want and just hit create. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the rectangle tool down here. Just click that and I'm gonna draw a rectangle about to here and then I'm gonna adjust it manually. So I'm just gonna move it around the way I want to. I'll do about this much and leave that much transparent. Now I'm going to click my rectangle tool again, but this time change the fill to blue. This is just to get an idea of where our things are. And I'm gonna draw it right up here. Kinda eye it until you get to the middle, so like this. And now I'm gonna go up to edit, transform, and distort. And I can adjust it like this. Okay, so there's the top part of it. So now you can go to your text tool. Find whatever font you want. So I'm going to go with this one. Turn the size up. I'm going to put my name in here and change the color to white by clicking that box up there. And it's a little too small still, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And now it's a little bit too big, so... Gonna shrink it a little bit and that looks pretty good. So now we're ready to start editing the shapes. Okay, so first make sure that this top little trapezoid is below the background layer. That's just how we're gonna do this. And double click on the background layer and you can add a gradient. And we could change the gradient color to whatever you want. Like we could do the common theme I've been going with, which is like blue to another blue. And then I can maybe add um, a border around it, which is dark blue. Like this. But then what I could do is I could pre-transform this until you can see the border around it like so. So your face cam will go in the middle. Okay, so there we go. Now we got that. The bat, really this isn't gonna show, so you don't have to worry about what this looks like. We could add a drop shadow to my text to give it some more depth and turn the opacity up a little bit. This font's really ugly, so that's a problem. Add some distance on it and that's really all you have to do you can change it up however you want this is just a really fast easy tutorial i don't want to spend you know like an hour you could spend tons of time on this it's really up to you so now that you know the basics of how you would shape it up i'm going to show you how to get it into obs so let's get to it okay so now we're ready to export it so go to file export as png Make sure the quality is at 100% and hit save. So here's our project. Drag OBS onto your screen. And now you want to just drag the file that you downloaded onto your OBS like I did here. And with these red little um, squares everywhere, you can adjust the size. So if I want my face cam to be like, I don't know where you put face cams, but like right there. You can put it there. So now I'm noticing it's kind of small. So if you wanted to, when you make yours, you can make your text bigger. Okay, so now you just want to find your face cam. It's going to be someone here. I'm just going to add display. And I'm going to shrink it. You can hold shift to manually shrink it.
like this. So there's your face cam. Needs a little bit more adjusting like that. So that's how you do it. It's really easy, but you can obviously adjust this to be more your style, like make the text a little bit bigger or something, but you get the idea. Thank you guys for watching. If this helped, leave a like and subscribe. Join our Discord down in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.